What's up, guys? It's me, Jordan, the Voices Guy. And uh, you're probably thinking, Jordan, why is this a completely different setup? Well, uh, I'm in college now. Yeah, I moved uh, to college, obviously. I don't know why I said I moved. Uh, so, yeah, it's a different setup. I will be here, uh, I guess, till December. And then I might do a couple podcasts once I go back home. Uh, and then, you know, back in, like, January or whenever. I'll be back here. So, yeah, this will be my setup uh, in the interim. Well, I guess I'd be home in the interim. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, as I said a, a few months ago, uh, the channel's going to take sort of a video podcast kind of feel. Uh, just be easier to edit. And, uh, I don't know, I kind of like the sort of radio show, podcasty talk show kind of feel. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to use this to, like, vent, you know, talk about life movies other stuff that's going on uh so yeah i'll probably do this for like 10 minutes 15 minutes tops a week i'll probably put the audio on uh, soundcloud if i can uh and, you know i i realized uh when you're packing for college it's important to have a list and i had a list and i stuck with the list uh but you know every once in a while you forget something and one thing i forgot was the aux cord and the splitter they typically have for the microphone so after I film this I'm gonna call my family you know tell them I love them you know ask them how their week's been and then see if they can mail me that stuff because I don't know where it is uh, another thing I can't find is the uh, camera charger which is a problem uh, I have like three hours on here I think no 45 minutes 45 minutes so I can probably do like three or four of these and uh, then I gotta make sure I got that charger. Uh, but right now we're chilling, we're having fun. Uh, I know you know some of you are probably thinking, Jordan, it's been a while since you've been here. Uh, yeah, it has been. I've been dealing with you know college stuff, you know, making sure all the papers go through. Uh, you know, picking your room, uh, maybe not getting the room you wanted, and that's one thing that uh, I feel like I could vent about. So the college I'm staying in, they're like different dorm communities, and there is one particular dorm community which is like the nicest, it's the newest, and it was also like conveniently next to all my classes, so I was thinking, like obviously you want to go there, so and I, I decided to room with a friend from kindergarten, and so when we were choosing which dorms to stay in, I was like, yo let's just pick all the top three choices in that dorm community, and we'll probably get it and he's like all right cool and uh so we did that uh, horrible decision because they had that dorm community which is the nicest newest then there was a second one which was like a little bit older but still like traditional dorms then there's the third one the third one it's sort of like imagine a motel you know how it's like you enter your room from the outside and it's like, you know, there might be like, it's like a circle kind of, and there's like a pool in the middle. And it just has that like awkward feel. That was the third one. We're like, obviously we don't want a room there. They're not gonna put us there. That'd be ridiculous. And so we were just, you know, we were confident that we'd get the rooms that we wanted. Uh, so it was a few weeks ago, we got the email saying, oh, you got your room assignments. We're like, all right, cool. Let's see what happened. <laughs> and of course, we got the dorm community that we didn't want, and we're both upset. I was, I was definitely more upset. I was, I was upset for, I'm still a little upset. It's been a long time, uh, but I've cooled down, and yeah, you know, we we're looking at the pros and cons. It's like, okay, yeah, it's off campus and it's a little bit farther away, but I mean, it's next to supermarket. Uh, also, it's you know, not traditional dorm style where it's like you have a hallway and stuff uh but at the same time we have our own bathroom and so the way it works we're actually in what they call suite now most dorms when you think of a dorm it's like you know you just enter the door and you get two beds two desks two dressers that kind of thing for my dorm it's like yeah i might draw a picture of this you have a living room and then the living room offsets into two bedrooms then each bedroom holds two people in it and each bedroom gets their own sink area. Uh, the sink area for me is right behind the camera. It's connected to the room. The other room, theirs, is across our hallway, which is like two feet long. 
and both sink areas are right connected to uh, the bathroom, which just has the toilet and the shower. Um, so it's an interesting setup. Uh, it's not what I had intended, but you know, I'm getting used to it. It is a little bit more spacious, I guess. Um, is it the same kind of dorm that I had wished for? No, not at all. Uh, but you know, it's going to be okay. Um, I certainly hope so. No, it's, it's fine, all right. I've, I've already had my first, I guess, half week of classes. Uh, and the cool thing I realized for these video podcasts is that my Friday classes end Friday morning at like 9 o'clock. So I probably just get some breakfast and then come back here and do it, which I'm doing now. Because right now it's 1030. Um, so, you know, just relaxing. It's already been six minutes. Wow. I'm trying to keep this kind of short, so I mean, this is this is actually pretty good. Um, I plan to use this podcast, you know, talk about movies, which is a big thing for me. Uh, recently, I saw Sausage Party. Uh, now, obviously, it's you know, it's one of those movies where you might just see the poster and go, "Oh, it looks kind of fun. It's an animated movie. Let's go check it out." Uh, but they they very you know prominently advertised hey this is an r-rated movie don't bring your kids and yet i still see people bringing their kids and going oh my gosh you know i didn't i didn't know this was gonna happen in the movie did you see the trailer did you watch the trailer at all did you listen to anybody saying it's an r-rated movie i mean you should, honestly like you can't be that surprised you know it's like the signs are there uh but i saw the movie and I'm thinking, okay, it's a Seth Rogen film. I've seen a few of his movies before. And, you know, they're kind of like those, you know, buddy comedies. They're kind of, I don't want to say stupid, but just kind of, you know, sort of like, you know, stoner humor. Uh, I thought, you know what, it might be interesting. It's the first, like, R-rated, computer-generated uh, animated film. So let's check it out just for, like, you know, vibe about it. And honestly... It was a lot smarter than I thought it'd be. Um, if you've seen Zootopia, uh, I don't really want to give any a lot of spoilers, but Zootopia is sort of uh, the whole film is sort of a metaphor for, um, I guess, police brutality and like race relations and that kind of thing. And so that movie was very smart. It was very brilliant. So this movie was sort of like that, but more uh, surrounding like religious beliefs and stuff like that and i didn't expect that at all i thought oh you know from the trailer it's like oh you just see foods realizing that humans eat them and then it's just you go what are we going to do how are we going to survive and the movie was kind of about that but i mean the one scene that you see in the trailer that's like just one scene in the movie it's like it's part of the plot but it's not like the whole movie uh it was very well thought out if if it if you don't like a lot of cursing, don't see it because the, like almost every word is a curse word. Uh, but you kind of zone it out, and you get invested in the characters. They're pretty funny. Uh, there are a few gross images <laughs> throughout the movie. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything. Uh, if you read anything online about the movie, you'll probably hear a few things. Um, <laughs> and they they were funny for me. Uh, of course, I am a young adult, so, you know, this sort of humor is, I guess, appropriate for my age. Uh, and I know I have a lot of younger viewers out there who, um, you know, probably shouldn't see this movie quite yet. You know, wait till it's on Netflix or Hulu or iTunes, Google Play, whatever you use. Um, but, I mean, if you're into that, you know, sort of like, hey, this is a movie that brings something that you don't expect I'd go see it, if it's still in theaters, because that was a while ago. Um, yeah, right now I'm just chilling, enjoying college. I haven't been to any movies yet, but I plan to. Uh, with my friend, we're probably going to see Moana, which is around Thanksgiving. Because uh, I'm not going home for Thanksgiving, it was just too complicated. So, oh man, it's hit my bed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, I just hope uh, you guys enjoy this sort of format you know i enjoy it if you have any concerns like hey i don't like the way you know it sounds or whatever then yeah you know, i'll try my best i you know i realize that i'm gonna have to 
try really hard for um, editing this because without the aux cord, because the audio is not going directly to the camera, it's actually going into my computer. It's recording right on this white screen. Uh, so I have to try to sync up the audio and the video. And I know that it bugs me when I watch a video and the audio and the video aren't synced up. Uh, so I'll try my best. If it's really off, then I don't know, just close your eyes, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. You don't have to. I, I don't care. Honestly, I really don't use Twitter that much. I have it. Uh, I would promote uh, my YouTube videos when I post them often. I'll promote this one there, I guess. Uh, I use Instagram the most. So if you want, if you really want to like see what's up in my life every few weeks or so, however, however often I post, go there because I check that regularly. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, about 11 and a half minutes. That's pretty good. Well, <laughs> guess I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I got some welcome week activities and I got to call my folks. So. I for, oh, I've totally forgot how I signed off. Wasn't it? Um, wasn't it? So, yeah. I remember that. That was so ridiculous. I'm probably going to stop doing that. I don't know. All right. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out.